Introducing the horses race number four this afternoon's fourth race. This is the $10,800 final for the Hill Farms. Pacing series two-year-old Colts and Gildings. The two horse has been scratched. Number one is Oriental Dragon. Alba Bill Sanders of Atlanta, Georgia. Ty Lloyd trains. Brad Hanner is driving. His stable mate, Reddy Bunny, is also owned by Bill Sanders of Atlanta. Ty Lloyd training and Mel Turcott driving. Two has been scratched. Number three, Swango. Owned by Charles Stuval of Lebanon. Doug Stuval trains. Don Feaster driving. Number four and scoring from post position five is Cigarettes. Over the ACA stable of Wilmington, Daryl Lewis trains. Dave Miller getting the call. Number five and from post six is Western Hero. Over the Bittany Farms of Sales, Kentucky, Alan Regal trains. Jeff out driving. And number six from post position seven is Tough Dragon. Owned by Sam Noble Jr. of Cedarville. Chip Noble is the trainer driver. One place show perfecta and pick three wagering. Colts and Gildings, the 1996 Hill Farms final, all in behind the gate. The gate swings into the back stretch for the start. There they go. And uh, they're off, and it's Tough Dragon for the far outside, surging for the lead from the inside in second. Oriental Dragon, and from between horses, Cigarettes. Swango came away fourth, dropping in five of the inside. It's Ready Bunny, and off stride goes Swango. A bit tight there in the first turn. Swango is on a break. Early trailer was Western Hero. Around the first turn, and Tough Dragon setting the early pace here. He leads by two. Cigarettes getting the garden spot trip today is racing in second. They reach the first quarter mile marker, 26 and three. And here again is a brisk opening panel. At the rail in third is Oriental Dragon inside and fourth to Ready Bunny. And Western Hero is a content fifth on the inside. Swango recovering quickly now, trails sixth. The the pace will slow here now as Tough Dragon continues to control the pace, continues to lead by two. Cigarette gapping off the leader a bit second. And on the inside and third, it's Oriental Dragon. They approach the halfway point, and here he comes now. Western Hero with a burst of speed to the outside. Half 57 and three. And one quick move puts Western Hero on the front. A very impressive move here. He now leads by three, and Tough Dragon will have to chase in second. Cigarette on the inside as a patient third. and. Swango looks to flush that cover and now does at the outside and fourth. Inside Oriental Dragon as he raced into the final turn and now Fount reels in Western Hero. He'll want a breather as he reached the three quarter mile marker in 127 and one. Western Hero by two and a half, three and Fount looking over shoulder. Cigarette is now the closest second. Tough Dragon to the inside is third as they turn for home now less than an eighth of a mile ago and down the stretch they come, and it's Western Hero by three and a half, four lengths. Inside Cigarette can only watch him go. It's Western Hero, 242 undefeated. Another big mile from the freshman Western Hero. Here's the timer, 156 and two. Cigarette was second, Ready Bunny third. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing the unofficial winner this afternoon's fourth race, the Hill Farms Pacing Series. From post position to five, from uh, rather post position six, it's Western Hero. From the first crop of Western Hanover, out of the Amber Crombie Mayor Leah Elmerhurst. He was bred by the Brittany Farms. He is owned by the Brittany Farms of Vassales, Kentucky, trained by Alan Regal, and handled this afternoon by Jeff Fout. Western Hero is now undefeated in his young career two of two and that a career mark 156 and two fifths track side to make that trophy presentation the general manager of hill farms and hilliard dr william paul the fourth race is now official the five four perfecta paying five dollars and sixty cents five sixty